From MMT Macroeconomic Textbook, Chapter 1, Page 16, P2, of Introduction of MMT, Policy Implications of MMT Nations. MMT provides a broad theoretical framework based on the recognition that sovereign currency systems are in fact public monopolies per se, and that imposition of taxes with insufficient government spending generates unemployment. An understanding of this point will be developed to allow the student to appreciate the role that government can play in maintaining its near-universal dual mandates of price stability and full employment. The student will learn that two broad approaches to controlling inflation are available to government in designing its fiscal policy. Both approaches draw on the concept of a buffer stock to control prices. We will examine the differences between the use of a unemployment buffer stock, the neoclassical approach which describes the current policy orthodoxy, seeks to control inflation through the use of higher interest rates, tight monetary policy, and restrictive fiscal policy, austerity, and lead to a buffer stock of unemployment. In Chapter 17 and 18, students will learn that this approach is very costly and provides an unreliable target for policymakers to pursue as a means for inflation control and be employment buffer stock. Under this approach the government exploits its fiscal capacity, which is inherent in its currency issuing status, to create an employment buffer stock. In MMT, this is called the jobs guarantee there is a book authored by Pavlina R. Cherniva called the case for a job guarantee, you can get off of realprogressives.org. You can also get this textbook there as well in the library section, JG, Approach to Full Employment and Price Stability. This model, which is considered by MMT to be the superior buffer stock option, is explained more in detail in Chapter 19. The MMT macroeconomic framework shows that a superior use of the labor slack necessary to achieve price stability is to implement an employment program for those who are otherwise unemployed which both anchors the general price level to the price of employed labor of this, current unemployed, buffer and can produce useful output with positive supply side effects.